What, what else did you guys do? Um, we pet cows. <laughs> Hi guys, I know I owe you quite a few videos. Um, I have been on the anxiety and depression train for the last couple of weeks. Um, so, um, I don't really know where to start. It, it, we live a hard life. Um, my lupus is agony every day. You know, the neuropathy pain that I have in my arm is daily. It's constant and I have not been sleeping due to all the pain I've been in. I usually get, and I wear an Apple watch to sleep, to monitor my sleep because my doctors wanna know, is it from pain? Is it from anxiety? Is it from sadness? What is, why are you not sleeping? Well, it's pain. Um, every time the sun goes down, I start to feel like I have the flu. Uh, you know, that achy, horrible bone and muscle ache down in your body that makes you toss and turn and makes you uncomfortable and you sweat and then you freeze. That's every night for me. Uh, not an over-exaggeration. <clears throat> I usually have medications that can help with those symptoms and I do have chronic insomnia uh, and chronic fatigue, which is ridiculous. They go hand in hand with my lupus. But the last month I have not been sleeping at all, not more than like two hours a night. I just kind of sit on the couch and stare at the ceiling or think or try to take medicine to help me get out of pain, but it doesn't really work. So I went back to my doctor last week, talked to her about what's been going on. She does agree that probably the anxiety and depression is stemmed from the lack of sleep and the amount of pain I'm dealing with. I am going to be staying in Bayfield outside of Durango, Colorado for the next few years. Uh, we have decided that this traveling life has cost me too much in my health. Um, what that means is that we have a permanent place to park our home. Um, we're going to start looking for a house or a cabin or a small trailer that we can live in for at least two years so that we can get, in three years, Hunter is graduating. We're hoping within the next year we can sell our home in Kentucky and use that money to buy a small place here up in the mountains near some water so that I can have that peaceful place to live and not have to travel all the time. Because every time we travel, it affects my lupus. Every time we travel, I spend several weeks trying to get healthy again and fighting the depression and the anxiety. And even though it's a wonderful life, what it costs me It cost me too much. My lupus is not doing great right now. I'm okay. Um, I get all weepy because this is a lifelong battle. There's no way to make me better. There might be ways to kind of mask symptoms, like the pain I'm in. I don't wanna cry, I'm so tired of crying. Um, so I went to the doctor. I talked to her about everything. It is very bright out here. Um, I have an anti-inflammatory pain medication that I started a while ago, um, about six months ago. We are doubling that because it's not helping enough. And if I take that medication and then I take ibuprofen because I'm in pain at night, because I take like four to six ibuprofen to be able to get any amount of sleep, then my kidneys are in danger. So um, we are not doing ibuprofen. Um, even though I can control that a little bit more, we're doubling up on this inflammatory. Okay. We're doubling up on the inflammatory pain medication and we are starting something for neuropathy pain. Often the side effects to these medications are awful and that's why I didn't wanna do it but I did it and I've been taking these new meds and I got six hours of sleep last night. I doubled my sleep. Um, I more than doubled my sleep. I'm not getting very deep sleep, but I am getting some sleep and it is helping immensely. And I'm hoping very much that it continues. 
It's not been easy. We're getting ready to move again. August 1st is my birthday and I'll be 46. I was never supposed to live past 30. Actually, they told me 25. So every day is a blessing. I get really, I get really angry when this stuff takes over because I know it can be worse. Logically, I know that, but that doesn't make my pain today any less painful. It's been a hard life. I try really hard to focus on every little thing that is good, every little benefit. I can walk, I can see today. <laughs> Major issues with my eyes. I can maybe eat today. You know what I mean? There's good things. It doesn't sound like much to you guys, but for me, they're huge. And when you focus on those tiny little good things and those blessings, it keeps me from focusing on the pain I'm in. So I love you guys. I thank you for listening. I know I look awful. We're going to church, but I need to go to church. Love you guys.